Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day Vulcan Report is for the end of day of Wednesday, July the 6th, 2016. You're looking at a chart of the SLV. Uh, as you can see, silver had a nice upward thrust ending last week, and we are in a continuation pattern now. Good upward momentum, and we are locking in an upward move here, hitting new. 52-week uh, highs and right now $20 is the next target here on the SLV and we should before this uh, move sees any significant correction we're looking at possibly $22 uh, likewise also in the futures I'll pull that up for you as you can see here in the silver futures uh, pretty much pulled back here making a wick I believe we're just probably going to test the the support and initial uh, breakout for this week, and then we're going to head back higher. Locked in here also, great volume, upward momentum, and it's really starting to break away now with uh, your first support at the 1860 uh, handle. So this is really um, showing and proving exactly as we had uh, predicted and the days and weeks leading up to this as I, I told you what the target was going to be um, and it's doing exactly what it, it should be doing here so um, great momentum and this should continue alright looking at the uh, gold futures pretty much the same story here locking in this uptrend momentum's increasing here uh, we have very strong support right now at the 13 17 30 and 1265.20 and 1230.40 is very strong support and this market is pulse waving positive and it's really looking good here and I can uh, I expect this one to continue also as we uh, head toward 1400 all right looking at the GLD same situation uh, as you can see here you know gold hidden new 52 week highs as well um, locking in this uptrend here and this uh, GLD right now um, should have enough power in it to get up to around 135. Looking at the US dollar index, as you can see here, it's getting into the overbought situation, kind of uh, moving alongside the bottom of the Kumo cloud. All right, technically, we're still below the cloud on the closes, as you can see if you look at the body of the, of the candles, even though the wicks or inside of uh, the Kumo cloud so still um, a wishy-washy scenario you have resistance here but you're pulse waving positive but you're not really breaking out on strength and closing in the new highs you're kinda just in a sideways situation and your support is looking a little a little a little questionable it's not in a straight smooth line it's starting to break up a little bit so that's usually what happens when you see a lot of manipulation going into a market things like that happen they're doing the best they can to keep this thing propped up but you know it's still any any man's game right now because this brexit situation is intensifying let me show you the one caveat for this dollar all right, looking at your British pound, this is your next, uh, initial Brexit reaction. And then we have follow through, but we didn't close on a new high. But now here we are. We're into new to new lows now. I said new high, I meant new lows. We didn't close into a new low. But we're doing it this week. This, this is a very in interesting week because we're accelerating now. And we hit a new low this week, all right? So your resistance is way up here. All right, and you're pulse waving negative in a big way right now, and you're locking in on this downtrend. So this is really starting to look nasty, very ugly, in uh, in the British pound. This could help prop that dollar up and send more money into the dollar. So the Fed may not have to do too much uh, propping up of the dollar because m inflows of cash could come in because of this so that's going to be a really interesting situation just keep in the back of your mind that that doesn't have to be the case the dollar can fall down with it all right it wouldn't be the first time that's happened 
correlations and things do break down. If there's a run on uh, on paper currencies on the fiat, you can see that. You can see something really strange like that happen. And likewise, Bitcoin's been getting hit too, just like I've been showing you guys. Got to keep your eyes and ears open to see how these things play out, but it's getting really interesting now. All right, here's your uh, your Bitcoin, as you can see. Markets uh, hanging around the 675 level. You saw how low it did get, and now here you are rising up, kind of moving with the dollar like I showed you before. It is moving and keeping in lockstep with the U.S. dollar. And we've already gone through that, why that's the case peep my previous videos if you have any questions about that you want to check out the playlist uh, there is no collapse uh, which is a evolving ongoing uh, playlist uh, that's my documentary series that I'm doing and um, check out the latest entries and additions to that if you haven't watched that I suggest you start from the beginning and watch it all the way through and I think you will be very enlightened all right all right looking now at the Nikkei as you can see, it's kind of flatlined here, moving sideways. Really, not a lot happening. Uh, but you're going to need to watch this because it kind of leads the way to the downside. It just happens to be, and your resistance is way up here. So this is negatively pulse waving, and it looks like momentum could be picking up to the downside on this. To be honest with you, I don't really see a lot happening this week because it's a short trading week. Tomorrow's Thursday, then you got Friday, that's it. So I think the action that we're going to see is really going to pick up pick up starting uh, Sunday night into Monday going into next week. Next week will be interesting for sure. So that's something we're going to keep, uh, keep tabs on. So remember until then, remember bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can, give nothing back. And if you're not making money in the markets, you need to fire yourself and hire me. Peace.